When we start talking about things like work and hunger, I would never, if you'd asked me before I moved into this role, um, what are the, the vast majority of people who are hungry or who are food insecure, describe them. Yeah. I would not have said 68.8% of them are working families. I would never have said that. Um, I would not have spoken to um, what that really means and the fact that, that not only um, do you need a job, right, but that the quality of the work matters fundamentally to your ability to actually sustain your family mm -hmm. and to make basic necessities of life pay for basic necessities of life. I, I learned things about, um, about New York City, which just recently had an analysis come out, and that in New York City, of working families, 40% of working families cannot make ends meet. Mm -hmm. um, uh, let's take um, DC. According to a study in 2005, in this district, um, a single parent with one child in preschool and one child in, um, in grammar school um, would only be able to afford 41% of likely her basic needs, be able to pay for 41% of her basic needs based upon a salary of around $20,000 a year. Well, we know that that data is dated because we have more recent data from Somerset, Somerset County over not very far away from here in Maryland that shows same demographics in Somerset, um, that you need over $70,000 a year yeah. in order to, to take care of basic necessities. So what I'm learning and what I think is, I, I'm hoping will be helpful to the effort yeah. is those types of realizations help me to realize that there are lots of things that I don't understand. So it's causing me to rethink hunger um, in ways that I didn't think about it before.